Welcome, this is a video around creating a Pareto chart, which is basically a column chart sorted high to low. Uh, you can also uh, put a line chart on it that has a cumulative percent going up to 100% or 1.0 uh, as an additional feature of a Pareto chart. So what you're seeing here uh, my name is uh, Dr. Joe Snyder, and so what you're seeing here is help desk calls. You have the reason for the call, number of calls. I've already pre-sorted it by uh, the number of calls going down. If you had to do that, you'd highlight the raw data, go up to the data element and do sort. pick number of calls, largest to smallest, and that would give you a sorted list. <clears throat> to produce the bar chart, you highlight the reason number of calls, columns A and B. You pick the bar chart, the column chart rather, And this is essentially the first version of a Pareto chart. So you can see software certainly is the highest number. The reason why these Pareto charts are used is to be able to focus on the largest potential areas of concern. So in Help Desk, for instance, you want to reduce the number of calls. So focus on software and hardware. You'll get more bang for the buck. So that's essentially what a Pareto chart it's all about. Now, if you wanted to add the bells and whistles to a Pareto chart, you'd have to have a percent and a cumulative percent, which is a rolling total uh, set of columns additionally. Let's go ahead and fill that out. I'm going to type in equal, click on the 511, divided by the 1221, hit enter. Go ahead and do the same thing all the way down. Now we have the percentages, and you could put that in a percent format if you wanted to. Now for the cumulative percent, the first row is going to be the first percentage value. The next row is going to be the prior row plus the current row percent value. So it's getting bigger as you go equal the 69 plus the 18 equal the 88 plus the 11 you can see that eventually you're going to get up to a hundred percent so what I'm going to do is create what's known as a combo chart uh, which will have a bar chart or a column chart like this and also a line chart that's going to go up from the bottom up to the top and create a secondary axis that's going to go 0 to 1. Right now you can see the traditional y-axis goes from 0 to 600. Um, we're going to have an additional y-axis over here that will be for the other chart that's going to merge in with this one, a line chart. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to highlight the first two columns. Now I'm holding down the control key and going to highlight the other set of data that I need. So we're going to have the first um, chart, basically the first part of the chart being number of calls. The second part of the chart is going to be based on cumulative percent. We go up to insert. I use this drop down because the combo chart's not listed. We have to go to the all charts tab and you'll see combo down here at the bottom. Okay, so you can see it's trying to build what the chart's going to look like. And what we want is a secondary axis on the cumulative percent. So we just check the box. Now you'll notice that it goes up, the red line now. It does overshoot and says 
120%. We, our max is 100, so we can customize that after the fact. So now we have another chart that's got two things on it. The number of calls, same as the other chart, but we've got the cumulative percent. I mentioned getting rid of this 120, making the max to be 100%. Right click, format that axis, make the maximum 1.0, hit the X, and now you can see we're going from 0 to 100. This is a more uh, customized Pareto chart with what's known as an ogive for the cumulative percent. That's what that's called. So this is a combination chart and it's got all the bells and whistles for the Pareto. But the simple Pareto that uh, you would want to create would be just a column chart sorted high to low. Thank you.